McDonald Laurier Institute. Now to a local success story. A group of Ottawa entrepreneurs is generating a lot of buzz online with a new environmentally friendly learning tool. They started an online fundraising campaign just four days ago, and so far they're at eight times their original goal. It's a simple idea that's gone viral. Wabishik Rice met with the group tonight and has this story. So you can just write on there like a, like a typical whiteboard. But unlike a typical whiteboard, it's the size of a notebook. It's called the Wipe Book, and it's the brainchild of University of Ottawa engineering student Frank Bouchard. So this one, like a, uh, like a dry erase, you can just wipe it clean, and this one, you can just scrub it, but it's still permanent. He came up with the idea when he discovered he was wasting too much paper and wasting too much time erasing mistakes he made with a pencil while brainstorming ideas. I wanted to buy something like this, but I was looking all over the place and I couldn't, I couldn't find it at all. Uh, so I was like, uh, I'll just make one myself. Last February, Bouchard partnered with Toby Maurice and another classmate in an entrepreneurship course. They decided to develop it into a business model and sold more than 100 in a matter of months. It's a portable, simple tool for brainstorming ideas and taking notes. And what uh, differentiates it from other conventional writing mediums out there is that once its pages are spent, it's utilized, you can just wipe them clean and use the product over and over and over again. Now they want to further develop and promote the white book as a useful, environmentally friendly product. So last week, they launched a Kickstarter campaign to raise money to enhance it. The Kickstarter campaign hit its original goal of $4,000 in just one day. Four days later, it hit $30,000. It now is trending to surpass $200,000 by the time it wraps up on December 23rd. It's crazy. It's, it's fantastic. Um, it's not even, I see the money go up, but it's not even about the money. It's you creating something in the world and it just, like, people will actually use this thing in their daily lives. That's, that's one of the most fulfilling things about the whole project. Eventually, they hope to partner with schools to sell it in bookstores. Wabgizhik Rice, CBC News, Ottawa.